There's more damning proof of coronavirus originating from the Wuhan Virology Lab in China. India today is accessed now an explosive video of Peter Desac, member of WHO International Expert Group. He's the president of the Eco Health Alliance. And in this video, which dates back to a few years ago, Desac boasts about the manipulation of a killer SARS-like coronavirus carried out by his colleagues in China. So we sequence the spike protein, the protein that attaches to cells. Then we, well, I didn't do this work, but my colleagues in China did the work. An explosive video of Dr. Peter Dezak boasting about the manipulation of killer SARS like coronavirus being carried out by colleagues, as he put it, in China. In this 2016 video, Dr. Dezak speaks at a forum on emerging infectious diseases and the next pandemic and describes in detail the research being carried out at the Wuhan lab in China. Then, you, then when you get a sequence of a virus and it looks like a relative of a known nasty pathogen, just like we did with SARS, we found other coronaviruses in bats, a whole host of them. Some of them looked very similar to SARS. So we sequenced the spike protein, the protein that attaches to cells. Then we, well, I didn't do this work, but my colleagues in China did the work. You create pseudoparticles, you, look, you insert the spike proteins from those viruses, see if they bind to human cells. And each step of this, you move closer and closer to this virus could really become pathogenic in people. This is also indicative of the growing proof of Wuhan Institute of Virology's deep financial and personal ties to US President Joe Biden's top advisor on health, Dr. Anthony Fauci's National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Nasty. Peter Dezak heads EcoHealth Alliance, which is reported to have funneled funds to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And we went out to southern China and did surveillance of bats across southern China. And we've now found, after you know, six or seven years of doing this, um, over a hundred hmm. new SARS-related coronaviruses, very close to SARS. Some of them get into human cells in the lab. Um, some of them right. can cause SARS disease in humanized mouse models and are untreatable uh, with uh, therapeutic mm -hmm. monoclonals, and you can't vaccinate against them with the vaccine. Dr. Dezak's EcoHealth Alliance is in the eye of a storm for sending 600,000 US dollars to the Wuhan lab that is seen as the source of the coronavirus. Dr. Dezak is also reported to have organized a statement expressing solidarity with scientists and health professionals in China. The statement read, we stand together to strongly condemn conspiracy theories suggesting that COVID-19 does not have natural origin, unquote. Dr. Dezak also thanked Anthony Fauci in April 2020 for downplaying the theory that the coronavirus may have leaked from a lab. But with more information filtering out, seeking closer scrutiny of the Wuhan lab, Dr. Fauci too has now called for more investigations. I do not have any accounting of what the Chinese may have done, and I'm fully in favor of any further investigation of what went on in China. However, I will repeat again, the NIH and NIAID categorically has not funded gain-of-function research to be conducted in the Wuhan. Just like we did with SARS, we found... Dr. Dezak's 2016 boast about the manipulation of the killer SARS-like virus carried out by his colleagues in China has once again brought the spotlight on the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Bureau Report, India Today. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of First Up. Thank you very much for watching. And